In this modern world of gaming, a second is a long time. Within the context of the Zoom and Boom meta, it's a very long time. Taking a full second to merely scan an enemy is basically an eternity. Okay, I'm being a bit facetious, but it turns out you can make scanning much faster. I'm the engineer, let's solve a practical problem. This particular interaction was brought to my attention by a member of my Discord and tested further on my livestream on Twitch. If you want to get even more from Warframe, the links to both of these are in the video description. When it comes to scanning enemies for Samara standing, you'll find you have very few options. It's not like a codex scan where Helios can fill in for you, and you can't just smack enemies with a Helio core and call it a day. Samaris requires you to personally whip out the synthesis scanner and get to work. As I mentioned, scanning isn't exactly instantaneous. You need to not only get your scanner out in place of your guns, you then also need to hold the scan on an enemy, like charging up a shot. One of the upgrades available for the scanner, the Vector Thread widget, will improve your scan speed, but still leaves you with a noticeable scan time. Now if you look over all the Warframe abilities, it might seem like none of them can help you. In virtually all cases, you'd be right. Attack speed doesn't help you. Freezing or otherwise crowd controlling enemies does nothing for the scan speed. You'll get no benefit from making enemies more vulnerable to damage, nor from using buffs like Rhino's Roar, Mace's Shooting Gallery or Grendel's Nourish. But one ability, one that is buggy, inconsistent, known for its exceptions and, most importantly, available to everyone through the helmet system, has the unique power of improving scanning speed. That ability is Eclipse. When you have a substantial damage bonus from Eclipse, and you'll just have to figure that out for yourself because the UI is not going to tell you, it has the added effect of massively reducing the time it takes to scan enemies. This buff makes scanning so fast that the animation and audio cues simply don't keep up. So how can we make this practical? If you're out scanning enemies, you probably want Samara standing. And if you want Samara standing, you might as well learn a whole lot more through stealth scans, as I've covered in a previous video. However, Mirage isn't exactly known for being stealthy. Instead, we can put Eclipse onto a more accommodating frame, like Loki. Loki's invisibility only really asks for duration, while Eclipse requires both strength and duration. This means we can go for a build that dumps range and drops efficiency in favour of the stats we need. Add in Prime Flow for energy capacity and preparation so we can hit the ground running, and now we have an instant scanning invisible frame ready to farm Samara standing at record speeds. This build here uses just over 2.5 energy per second, meaning Prime Flow and Preparation will give nearly 5 minutes of ability uptime without any energy gain. There's no need to rank up Preparation to max, as Loki's innate starting energy will cover the rest. Looking to Arcanes, you can further support your abilities with the new Molt Efficiency, reducing the average energy cost per second to around 2.2. The other Arcane slot is completely optional. My picks are either Arcane Consequence for Enhanced Mobility, or Arcane Nullifier to protect against surprise energy leech bubbles. If you don't have preparation, or expect to be in the mission for a lot more than 5 minutes, Xenerix Wellspring Operator ability will more than cover the energy cost of this Eclipse Loki setup. Double cast it to get a further Warframe Strength buff. You know, in case you need scanning to be a little bit quicker than instant. One thing you do need to watch out for though with Eclipse is its wonky bonus. Going invisible in a light area will mean you keep your super scan bonus in dark locations, but if you go invisible whilst you're in darkness, you get no super scan speed at all. Again, it's up to you to figure out where is light enough and where is dark enough, because the UI will just lie to you. So thank you to Alex for bringing this to my attention. It's a weird interaction, probably should be considered a bug, and I can barely guess as to how Eclipse and only Eclipse is able to affect scanning enemies. Still, if you found this helpful or interesting, give the video a like and subscribe to catch more. And as always, use Eclipse, scan quick, and fight well Tenno.